I am getting ready to do some frog fishing. This is the best time of day to get up on some shaded banks in this river system uh, and catch a big bass on a frog. But I want to show you, uh, give you a little indication of the way that I fish this bait to kind of up the odds. You see, I, like everybody else, used to think a frog was a bait that you cast out over the lily pads uh, and hopped it along and big bass exploded on it like in like in our grandfather's days that's not the case okay ask yourself this when you look at the big field of lily pads or the big the big area of flooded or matted grass how many frogs do you see skipping across the surface or hopping along none uh, the frog is better when you target fish it okay and in this case i'm going along in certain areas of this river system and where there's a shady spot where there's a big tree that comes down right you know on the edge of the bank a flooded bush okay a target where i would say okay normally i would pitch a bait or flip a bait up in there you skip the frog up in there you snap cast them shoot them up underneath the limbs and put them in a spot this a is the original spro frog that was designed by dean rojas this is the only one that i pretty much use here in florida in this black color it just works great for me uh, but Dean Rojas himself once gave me a tip. He said, always throw the frog in a place where a fish can pin it. Keep that in your mind when you're looking at the bank and you're thinking of fishing the frog. Find places where a bass can take advantage of a backboard of a situation and pin and eat something. Okay, a seawall, you know, the edge of a dock, a, a big base of a cypress tree. Uh, a place where the, the shoreline's all flooded, but there's one little steep spot on the bank. Think about the bass pinning the frog, and that's where you need to put it. Uh, it's important to have the right rod to do that. Now, now here in Florida, I need a pretty powerful rod. Because if you think about it, if I put this frog somewhere in the back of a bush or a cypress tree or whatever, and an eight pound bass eats it, I need to get them out of there. Okay, so this rod, this is a seven foot, three inch heavy power rod. By heavy power, it means it's got a lot of backbone. It's got a lot of kick to it, okay? But the action of this rod is extra fast. Now, what that means is the tip section is where all the bend occurs, right in the very tip. It's super snappy, super quick, super fast. That allows me to make casts that are also real snappy and real fast and skip the bait back up underneath stuff or throw it up underneath a tree or a boat dock right to that little sweet spot, that place where the bass can ambush it. Okay, so an extra fast action allows me to do it. It's really quick. It'll deliver a, a pretty light bait, but real fast snap cast across the surface of the water. But the heavy power is in the midsection. Okay, so that drags the big bass up out of the cover. So equip yourself right. This rod is seven foot three inches. This is the length I like. You might like something short or something longer. This allows me that real good whippy snappy cast. Uh, 50 pound braided line, always have enough rod. Don't come to Florida and throw a frog in a place that if you get the bite of your life, you'll lose it. Then it becomes the worst bite of your life. Okay, have enough rod to move the fish. So, so get on targets, get on spots, think about pinning the frog, deliver the frog, move, deliver the frog, put it in little spots like that. You're going to have the time of your life with these baits.